Hey everyone, Jazzy here, program manager with Exposa Autodesk, and I have a, another trainer tip for y'all today. So I got some requests for some hip um, opening movements, stretches, things like that. And today I'm going to show y'all my favorite way to release your hip flexor. So Sometimes when our muscles are tight, we don't necessarily want to stretch them out anymore. Um, sometimes we need to release them and release other muscles that they're connected to to help open them up. So this is my favorite hip flexor release. Um, your hip flexor is made up of two separate muscles. Um, so in order to do this release, you do need a few things. So I personally love using a lacrosse ball. So if you have a lacrosse ball, a tennis ball, a baseball, a dog toy, literally anything like this will work. You want it to be a little bit firm, but as you're starting out, maybe you want something more soft like a tennis ball. You're also going to need something with weight. My favorite thing to use is a kettlebell. I personally do not have one in my apartment, so I'm going to use my water bottle. So the setup here, we're going to lay down on the ground on our backs. We're going to take our ball. So whatever ball you have, you're going to use that. You're going to place it, so we're going to lay on the ground, but you're going to place it right above your pelvic bone. So my pelvic bone is right here. You're going to place it right next to it, a little bit above it. That's because part of our hip flexor comes through the back of our pelvic bone. So it's part of it's there. The other part is coming down. So there's two parts. There's the ili it's your ilius OS to get really technical here. So you're going to place that. You're going to find that good spot, whatever feels tight. And then while you're on your back, you're going to take your weight. So I'm going to take my water bottle. So I'm laying down here on my back. Make sure I'm in frame. You're going to take your weight. So whatever you have, whether it's a water bottle or um, a kettlebell, the kettlebell is my favorite because it has that flat part on it. You're just going to push. You're going to find the area that feels a little bit more tender, feels a little tight, you're just gonna push down on it. So you're gonna breathe through, relax your body, and really release your hip flexor. So that one I like to do um, on both sides, you again, right above the pelvic bone, laying on your back, that will really help start to release your hip flexor. And then um, moving forward, I'll show y'all a few more ways to like open up your hips and kind of get more mobility back through your hips. That's my favorite one. That's the tip I have for y'all today. Let me know if you try it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to reach out. Um, but I hope y'all try it out and that you enjoy it.